Hey everyone, good evening. It is February the, the 21st and I'm just coming home from work and I wanted to get on um, because I feel like I haven't been on but it's only been a week, a little over a week but still I just wanted to get on or whatnot and just give you an update on what's going on with me. Um, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited. Um, I'm just focused on the prize. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been doing a lot of great things. I've been really focusing on things that I love and things that I'm passionate about. And I'm just so excited. Me and my friend, um, me and my friend Kima, we, we have start. we are in, we are, we created an intensive for women. Um, focusing on the mind, body, and spirit, and the importance of self-care and self-love. And it's for eight weeks, and we started on February 14th, which is the Day of Love. So it was very awesome. And, you know, for, for every couple of weeks, we focus on either, you know, the body, the mind, and the spirit. And right now, we're getting right into the body, and we're focusing on, on raw foods. And, you know, I'm very, you know, passionate about raw foods. I really love talking about you know health and wellness and I'm just so excited about it and you know this is something very like exciting and I'm looking forward to having more intensives in the future and hopefully you know other ladies who are watching will be able will join I would love to have you you know and to share and connect so it'll be very exciting and um, I'm just excited about the great things we are going to embark you know, um, it's so important, I feel like, to connect with sisters, connect with, you know, especially with black women. I think it's just so important for us to have a space for each other, to, to connect and to just share and just love on each other. I think it's just so important. We need that. Um, and I, I, I'm definitely excited about all the great things in the future. Um, also, I am definitely, because I'm definitely looking into, well, I am going to be um, providing meal plans for people who are interested, you know, if you are a couple or a teen or um, just some, just, just one person, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to be offering general meal plans for people who want to transition from the standard American or like a meat diet you know, to a vegetarian or a vegetarian to a vegan or a vegan to a raw. So I will be providing general meal plans if you're interested in, in that. Also, if you are, um, if you want something more specific and more personalized for you, I will also provide that too. And it's like a questionnaire that goes along with that so I can get it more insight about you because um, to me, it's not just about, you know, losing weight or just eating healthier. It's more, it's, 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 it's holistic. It's about the mind, body, and spirit. It's about, you know, where you come in from, and from not only a physical standpoint, but from an emotional, um, physical, spiritual standpoint. All of that is correlated to your health. So I will be asking you questions that's related to that to give more insight on you and, you know, where you're coming from so that we can help you, you know, so that I can help you, you know, be able to or to reach your goals and be able to stick to whatever you, you're trying to, you know, stick to. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to, to that. So if you're interested in that, um, I, you could definitely send me an email and I will have my email in the um, description is loveinfinitenature at gmail.com loveinfinitenature at gmail.com but I also will be providing um, tarot readings and astrology readings um, for those who are interested so definitely hit me up if you are interested I'm so excited about you know really going into my passions because I realized that when you're focused on what you truly want to do all that little stuff around you don't matter anymore and I'm realizing that you have to stay in the moment and just be who you are and just be what, you, what your assignment is do what your assignment is in this lifetime 
and my assignment is to serve others. So, like I said before, if you if you you know want consultations on you know on having a better diet or you want to become vegan or you want to be raw or you want to have more better selections, you know, you can definitely come to me, you know, because, you know, and I think it's important to start where you are and I think it's important to do it gradually so that it can be ease at an ease and natural for you, you know, because that's how I did it. I didn't just stop eating all of a sudden. I did it gradually. I kind of, you know, maneuver my way slowly into each you know, step, you know, to get where I am now. And I'm still learning things. It's, it's never like you're stopped learning. You always want to be learning more things. So that's some of the stuff that I'm working on now. Are a lot of great things are in store, I'm, and I'm very excited about that. But I wanted to share some of the things that I've been, um, that I've been um, looking at or been buying or whatever, like, or gotten. This right here, I'm so excited. It's called Cards um, of Your Destiny. What your birthday reveals about you, your past, and your past, present, and future. And I already shared this one. This one is more so about relationships. What your birthday reveals about you, you and your personal relationship. It's the love cards, which is very interesting. And I do have a video on that if you want more details of. That I pretty much just, just analyzing, you know, things in regards to my birthday. And um, it's very interesting. It definitely will give you some insight of your life and your destiny and how you handle things and what's in store for you in the future. It's definitely on point. And an and interesting thing about these um, these books is that it's in correlation to, like, the you know, the, the regular playing cards, you know, people play with. But those playing cards... Are really spoke are tools to help us in life. Those and if they and if you really take the time to study, you realize that we you have so much power, and you can use those cards to guide you and to and to communicate with you know the source and communicate with your ancestors and communicate with other gods and goddesses. You can use these cards for like it's amazing that in tarot. Um, and that's another thing I forgot to mention is I will definitely be getting into doing tarot readings and I'm going to be getting into doing, uh, of course I said astrology readings also. But um, I'm so excited because I got this as a gift from one of my husband's friends for our wedding. He asked us, he said, what books do you want? And I just picked this one because um, I wanted to get it. So I just said, why not? So I haven't had a time to really re get it, get into this, but I will definitely make a video on it eventually once I really have time to sit down and really analyze it or whatever. And I feel like I really haven't, I delved into this, but not in the way that I really want to. Um, but I definitely did have a, a long video on this. <laughs> so I will be definitely, you will see stuff in the future in regards to those books. This is another awesome book that I got. And this book was calling me, as some people may say. Like, I've been eyeing this book for months. And then I went to a, I went to D.C. Um, and I went to D.C. to a raw food place. And this book was there. And I said, I got to get it. I got to get it. Um, it's called Pear Ankh. And it's by Dr. Africa. And it's um, the uses of science, colors, astronomy, mathematics, anatomy, logic, astrology, and symbols. Per um, um, it's arranging and decorating your room, building, garden, and has a success, um, health, beauty, and power. You know, and it's pretty, it reminds, if you know what feng shui is, it's like that, but it's the African way. You know, and um, the way he was kind of hinting in this book was as if, even though it's known for, you know, that's a Chinese, you know, tradition, a Chinese, you know, thing, he, the way he's hinting it, that is really, it really is uh, more, it's African, which is interesting. Um, that's interesting. 
and I, it's funny because I opened up the page to where it was talking about that. But um, but he, there's this thing that he says. He says my first awareness of Pear Unk, Pear Unk, her Unk. I mean, not Pear Unk, her Unk, was awakened when I looked at pictures of ancient Egyptian buildings and flower orchids. This sparked my interest in looking at people and architecture as a language used to express ideas and symbols. And we as a people are symbol people. For example, a war is a military symbol and Nike symbol is a symbol for sports activities. Symbols are, are all around us and speak to us. A Chinese letter to, is awkward to someone that does not know the letters of symbols used for words. Symbols are used in all types of professions such as mathematics, the use that use abstract symbols called numbers or music, music's um, highway of knowledge and insight. In this book, the symbols usage is illustrating and explained. This allows you to read a home arrangement as if it were a book. When reading this book, it will be clear that if you use a computer, you would need to understand computer symbols. And to live in your home, you would need to understand the home type of computer symbols so that you can operate your home for your benefit. Um, Pearl Ankh is easy to understand and avoids the Chinese metaphysics of Feng Shui. Pearl Ankh does not challenge you understanding and provides you and provides many different types of layouts that work within your understanding. But that really didn't talk about what exactly I wanted to talk about, so I'm sorry about that. But um, but it was but pretty much what I was when I was reading in here, actually it's right here. Per Ankh is the voice of culture. Per Ankh is easy to understand because it relates to the human body, science, anatomy, like the stars and the planets, and directions north, south, east, west, which are shared by all cultures. Therefore, any culture can use it and not feel culturally alienated. Per Ankh is a universal system for arranging a home. It is an ancient humanistic system that which has worldwide usage and is ecumenical. Ecumenical. I've never seen that word before. I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> ecumenical. Excuse me on that. But yeah, but that is very interesting. Like the what I the what I was reading from the beginning was pretty much that, even though you know. When you think of this type of, you know, if you think of feng shui, feng shui is pretty much is arranging your home in a way that creates harmony and balance and creates um, the energy to flow e with ease, you know, and it can also bring abundance, you know, to you. That's pretty much what it is. That's just a, you know, a simple way of explaining it. But um, the way that he's putting it as if this before it was from Shui, it was it was the African way, so that's the that's the vibe that I got from it. Um, but it's a very interesting book, and I'm in the as you can tell, I'm very much in the beginning of it. Um, but another thing that I wanted to share with you guys was this. As some of you may know, I do um, I do fast. I liquid fast between the seasons, like the winter, um, the spring sol, um, the spring equinox is coming up, and um, and I normally do a fast for like four weeks. Now I'm doing three weeks. I don't feel the need to do four weeks anymore, but I do a liquid fast for three weeks, raw liquid fast for three weeks, and it's definitely beneficial. I think it's important for people to fast. But not just on from a physical standpoint. I, I know some people fast from different things like from social media or TV or, you know, things that they that you may think consume your life too much. So it's important to do that, too. Um, but as far as for your body, it allows your, your body a, a chance to relax and, you know, to just relax. And one thing that I notice is that after I get off the fast and I begin to eat, you know, solid foods again, that my body is able to digest food better. It's like, it's, it's taking in the nutrients better. So, um, normally what I do is, what I've been doing for the last three times that I've, um, 
done like a fast during the, or do or detox during the change of the seasons is that I use the full body detox with like you know D, with the health stores full body detox. However, um, I wanted to try something new, so I decided to do Queen of Queen of Fua's 21 day um, detox kit, and I'm so excited because. With uh, the full body detox, it was just pills, and they do have the liquid form of it. But I, but I, but from what I read, it would that one is not as potent. So I wanted something more potent, so I did the pill form. But um, eventually, I want to be able to make my own type of herbs to take while I'm doing my fast. That's something that I, I'm. That's one of my goals for it. But the pills were vegan. That I took, and they were, you know, herbs. They were natural herbs. They were just in caps, capsules. So I decided to do her full body detox, and I'm gonna do a, a video, like a video specifically for this. So this is not gonna be me like explaining everything. It's a lot that comes in this. It's a lot of stuff, um, and I'm excited. And the, and the thing I like about this is that it's not just pill form. Um, it's some of it, you know, you have to. A lot of it you have to drink and she has videos on her on her website showing you how to make these uh, to make these concoctions you know which I'm gonna be definitely watching so that I can make sure that I'm prepared and another nice surprising thing that I received was this I was so excited to see like three posters in here and I wasn't expecting that because they, it doesn't say anything about the three posters so I was so happy about that and um, and actually they were the ones that I wanted to buy which was cool and there's other ones I want to buy too but um, the ones that that they put into my package was the, the nutrition kitchen healing laboratory chart and it talks about different levels um and it has like it healing herbs you can't really see it you can't really see it but you know here's a glimpse of it but it shows you what type of meals you can have like a liquid breakfast solid breakfast liquid lunch solid lunch liquid dinner solid dinner you know, I think it's awesome, and then it shows like the body's anatomy right there, and you know, kind of reminds you of the chakras. I think that's awesome. They also have like a, a shopping list, a little mini shopping list. It has all kind of stuff on there. It's just I love it. I was I was so excited. I was so excited about this. Um, if you couldn't see that, I'm sorry, but um. I will be working on getting a better camera, but, you know, we got to work with what we can get. But here, let's see if this is bright enough. But here, we have the City of Wellness um, Roadmap to Optimal um, Wellness. And this is kind of what I was talking about, where I fast every, during the change of the seasons, um, like the beginning of fall, beginning of summer, beginning of, you know, well, leading up to that point, not the beginning of it leading to that and it just talks it has like the pyramid on that like the first season to detoxify healthcare self-care acquire 12 weeks to 40 to 80 percent wellness with four 21 day cycles of cleansing and rejuvenation so it just talks about each season pretty much it's, it's pretty awesome because i feel like i'm kind of doing that in my own way and it just it just talks about for each level what you're doing. Like it says, for the first season, you awaken to your higher frequency of wellness. Then on the second season, you forward and upward towards your higher frequency of wellness. And then for the third season, you reach for your higher frequency of wellness. And then it says you reach optimal wellness for your higher frequency of wellness for the fourth season. And I'm actually in my fourth season of doing this. And for each one it has, you detoxify for the first season, you revitalize for the second season, third season you're purified, and fourth season you harmonize. And then it has an affirmation at the bottom, excuse me, that, that you can use also. It's really great. And it says the tools you can use is the formulas that she has, the nutrition kitchen, the wellness consultation, detox, detox baths, calling 
colon therapy, mental and physical fitness, and soul sweats. And um, the last one that I already did this. Oh, yeah, this one is similar to the other one. This one is pretty much like um, the liberation diet pyramid. Can't really see it on, but it just talks about each. There's pyra pyramids for each food group. Like the fruit food free the fruit food frequency pyramid, the beverages food frequency pyramid, the sweetener food frequency pyramid, the fats and oils, then you have the vegetable protein, the vegetable food frequency, the calcium food frequency, and then they have the ones that are like at the bottom, like the lowest, and then the more high vibrationals at the top. Like for example, for um, like let's say for the um, the vegetable starch at the bottom is the refined white flour products like the bagels, cereals, cookies, cakes, and then after that you have the high starch is the medium, um, which is the peas, the beans, and legumes, the split peas, live starches like bulgur wheat, couscous. Then the low starch vegetables, it gets higher. Then you have the artichoke, asparagus. You get what I'm saying. It just, you know, the the more raw it gets, the more green it gets. Like the at the top is the leafy vegetable starches, the better it is. Or over here, the vegetable food frequency. The bottom of it is like the the roots and tubers, like the potatoes, the onion, garlic, sweet potatoes. Then you have the beans. Um, then you have the steamed vegetables, um, then the uh, vegetable flowers like broccoli, Brussels sprouts. Then you have the leafy green vegetables that are at the top, optimal wellness. Then you have the seed veg veggies, which I love. Uh, the nori, waki, waka, um, wakame. I might be pronouncing these wrong, excuse me. I might be pronouncing these completely wrong, but it's okay. But I really like the walk, walkime. I really like that. And one thing that I will say is that some of the 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 some of the sea vegetables are not raw, which is not a big deal to me because it's so rich in nutrients. Because it's kind of sometimes it's difficult to find the raw ones. Like, as far as like the raw wraps, like these, you just so happen to have these upstairs. So, these, we love to eat these organic uh, Pacific sushi nori, and it's the edible ocean plant. Sometimes we eat these as like we just eat them by themselves. Sometimes, let me tell you, if you're like craving like ch chip salt, something like salty to eat. It's good to eat these, you know, and they sell them. They sell them like they have them where they have flavors and stuff like that. Not this, for this, but they have it to where you can eat it like a chip. You know, they have them like at Whole Foods and other health food stores. You can get them, um, but you can actually make them yourself, to be honest. Me and my husband, one time what we did was we took some of these and we seasoned it. Like we kind of, you know, seasoned it ourselves, <laughs> you know. We did it the homemade way. But this, when you have a salt, like you, you craving some chip, some chippy type of thing, you know, eat these. This definitely will help you out. Um, but that's all I wanted to share for now. You know, this video may seem a little all over the place, but there's some things I've been wanting to share. You know, I've been wanting to hop on, but I just haven't had a chance to. So I just decided to all to all to combine it all and then when I have time to really you know get into the books you know or get into you know when I actually you know really re research and, and read into how I'm gonna do my detox and things like that and, and actually show the journey of me going through it in March then you know I'll have the you know more specific videos but that's all for now and just look out because I promise that we're gonna have like more demonstrations and showing you what's in our refrigerator or like what's what we buy and things like that so definitely watch out for that but thank you so much for watching because this video is almost 30 minutes long and you have a wonderful wonderful day thank you